2016 and then uh, last year the collision with Priest. Yeah, good vibes, always enjoy this place. Um, obviously like the first win was, was awesome and something I always remember. I like the dirt here, hard packed, it feels like, like home. So, excited, triple crown. We'll, uh, got three chances to uh, put in some good results. So, head to track walk and get ready for practice. I went 2-4 in this rhythm, framed it. Came around the next lap, saw my nice frame mark, so I hope it's still there. Just to remind me, you know, just to get to see it every lap. Oh, that's it. There it is. That is for sure your That's my skid plate. plate right there. <laughs> that one hurt, dude. And Roxy was next to me, and I'm like, I hope he didn't see that. Something just kind of keep in mind, if you were to go around that, the entry, right? Go over three, 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 but it's one, but this thing is getting smaller. Yeah. And then you just, everything's low that way. Yeah, you don't hit this big one. I don't know if it's the ticket, but it'd be worth looking at. Who's that from? <laughs> Casey, did you do that, dude? <laughs> It might have been me. <laughs> I did fall in that turn. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Broke my clutch lever off. If you go on here and you go on, it is then more jump off. Cool. I think that's, that's oh, going to be a race line. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Rihanna to come down from the rafters. Yeah, I think for the Super Bowl, this was no, wide open. Yeah. Rihanna was floating above us. What? Rihanna was floating above us, singing all the hits. Well, like they tried to make an outdoor section. Dad, yeah, what is the outdoor section? This, how it's deep. You guys first practice again, Casey? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Nice lap time. Pretty basic. It's gonna be super hard packed, so you can tell some of the stuff they didn't touch from yesterday how hard packed it did get. Super flowy. It's a big, big field, so everything can be more open, which I enjoy. Yes, on this one. We'll see in qualifying because we'll do a little bit of both. Look up on the board, see which one laps fast. I think it's gonna be similar. Like if anything, one or two tenths. I don't know. I think one side will favor the other. Everyone will figure that out in practice, and they'll be by the mains. Everyone will be in one line. Four onto this. That would go three, and then almost land on the face of this thing. If anybody's gonna do it, Jason. Or who else? Who else? Chase, Chase, Chase will do Chase it. usually likes to do the big <laughs> play. <laughs> around here are you really thinking right look at these guys monster 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 rock star in a different direction dudes they sit on the monster thing I'm gonna give, breach a contract I got who's who's in charge here um, um, these boys just stoking on your bottle Lord as we close this time I thank you that we get to have a moment that this moment has been granted for us space in our day when we leave here it's time to flip the switch and go but God, for just a moment, we can quiet and think and go vertical with our thoughts to the throne itself, to where you reside, knowing our names, even every, every single one of us. Thanks that through faith we can find salvation that comes in the name of Jesus, in Christ and Christ alone. So God, bless these men and women for being here. Thanks for this day. I pray a blessing on every athlete, every rider. God, give us a chance today to bless someone else, put a smile on someone's face, show love and kindness to someone. God, when we get ready to go racing, triple crown, giddy up, it's going to be intense. I pray for a fierce, just focus like you on the cross. Jesus, you stared death in the eye and didn't even flinch. Help us to have that kind of focus when we do what you made us to do, go racing. Whether we're wrenching, we're riding, or we're managing, or we're running the race, bless each one this year. We, we thank you, Jesus. You're awesome. I pray this in the powerful and mighty and kick butt name of Jesus. Amen.
are getting buckled. birthday party today and I was loading the kids in the car and my dad texted me and he said is Christian's transponder not working and I'm like I don't know I'm at a birthday party dad I'm sorry and then like three minutes later I get four texts from different wives slash girlfriends asking me if I'm at the race and I'm like oh no my heart sank so then I looked up I heard that Christian said for me to get on the flight. So then I was like, okay. So then I had 30 minutes to figure out. I looked up a flight and I'm like, okay, I gotta make this next flight. So I had 30 minutes to figure out what to do with my other two kids. So I had a babysitter come and take them. And my parents are flying there. Actually, they should be there now. So I hopped on the flight and I'm here and Christian's about to be discharged. So that's good. Jagger's here. <laughs> RJ was about to fly home with Jagger on a red eye tonight. Which is like so incredibly nice of him. I don't think people realize how tight the moto community is until that kind of stuff. So, RJ's awesome. The short version is um, a lot of guys don't like to fix these or not many people are very good at it. And, and that's what makes it worthwhile for him to come out and see me. Because I do a lot of these. Okay. And they, they tend to turn out really well. But you gotta let the swelling come down because this elbow is gonna be massive. And if you open it up right now, you won't get it closed. Or he's at risk of something called a compartment syndrome. Have you ever heard of that? Yes, I have. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay. And he had that. And that, so in other words, he's had trauma, the elbow's already swollen. So if you open this elbow up in the next two, three, four, five days, it, there'll be more trauma, more swelling, and then the blood supply, the, the muscles gets compromised, and you can actually lose your arm from it. So the best thing to do is get him home, elevate it, ice it, see these all the time from snowboarding, skiing, dirt biking, mountain biking. If you don't want to open that thing up for a minimum seven days. Okay, perfect. And then okay. what do you recommend for like icing and all that? Um, Just all the time? Um, just, I would do it for 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. And the other problem is it's going to be wrapped up in a big splint. Right. So it's hard, it's hard to ice it. And so the number one, the number one thing you can do is to keep it elevated and you keep the hand higher than the elbow okay. or the shoulders. Just prop it up. Okay, awesome. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Great. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, you bet. All, All right, right, bye. Are you on this place now? Styles just pulled in. Next door. Yeah, where are they? Next door, Christian. Really? I can't believe you made it. Hi, baby. I didn't see him. Hey. What's up, buddy? Look at this guy. How are you? I'm not good. Can you get hip replacement? <laughs> yeah, it's in my room. I've <laughs> <laughs> been here for about six hours. You have never been in your room? Is this what you open for? Are we going to charge it a discount to the insurance because he didn't get a room? <sighs> I need you down there, dude. What? No. I need you down there to put me on the backboard. Jay, were you down there ever when you got in the ambulance or anything? No. What? Because we had to go down an elevator, then the car was right there. Okay, then the Al we had to drive, then the Alpine Snow was right there. How you feel? Not good, dude. Yeah. I'm in rough shape. So, uh, dislocations were heavy. Dislocated That's hip. like what old people get. Yeah. Dislocated hip. It's fitting with the white hair. Dislocated elbow. Yeah, I, I think room? it was the hair. I knew you were going to come up with something that it was. I knew it. It's for sure the hair. And he'll never die. Bleach his hair again. Never. He'll never do anything <laughs> again that he did today. By the time I ride again, it'll be gone. Oh. Well, it was a good day in Glendale. <laughs> that was rough. So it's we'll alright. We're alive. We'll see you when we see ya. Podcast coming soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for Rihanna to come down from the rafters. Uh, I think for the Super Bowl this was oh, wide open. Yeah. Rihanna was floating above us. What? Rihanna was floating above us singing all the hits. Rihanna.